Hey, it's Shell being in action. Today I've got a lovely update for you all. Let's get settled in, shall we? You will notice right off the bat that I have way more flexibility and movement. And to that I say, let's take a cheers or a toast. Today's tea time, I'm having a strengthening tea with some dandelion, nettle, rose, and peppermint. Take a deep breath. And jump into tea time with me, shall we? Mm. Thanks for joining in today. It's been lovely seeing quite a few of you from video to video. I wanted to say week to week, but sometimes there's more than one video in a week and sometimes there's less than that. Um, but today's theme is messy hair don't care. And what I mean by that is I finally am getting out and about. I was at the farmer's market today and although the weather in Washington, Seattle has been lovely for the last week, in fact, we were at 90 degrees and then 70s and 80s for a week, now it's rainy and uh, 55 degrees again. So I went out, I went to the farmer's market, but why I share all of that is I can walk, I can drive. There was literally a moment that just three weeks ago I was not driving and I could not walk. I could walk little bits with use of my boot and a cane, but as of a few days ago, I forgot to take my cane out with me and I ended up walking around just great without it. So this is a moment to celebrate and explain what all has helped me. I will show you my, my wound, which is now, happily to say, a scar. And if you've watched the last video in this series, you will know that I am due moments from now to go to a sacred plant ceremony named Iboga. Now before I jump in any further, I would like to explain that I am not a doctor. I am not giving medical advice. I am, however, an herbalist, and I am simply stating what I have done for myself and is or is not working for me. So always seek out professional consult. Now with that, how have I done this? Well, I've got a condition called CRPS. That's the acronym. It is Complex Regional Pain Syndrome. Complex. It's quite complex. Regional, it's uh, segregated to one region of the body. Pain, yep, there is the pain and syndrome because it's still not quite understood exactly how it happens. Now, what I will say from knowing my own body and the quick recovery I'm having, that this syndrome, I do believe, is really all to do with the mind. Now, they do know that CRPS is a response to trauma. It's like an adverse reaction, immunoreaction, so to say, toward trauma that's been trapped. I was doing fantastic at the first few days with my go-to cola. You might remember that herb from the very first videos and that collagen production was really sealing up the wound. But trauma took its course and circumstance in needing my mother to care for me in my tiny micro studio and the clashing that we had, um, as well as the lifetime of trauma I had already trapped, it took the best of me. Now, three weeks ago, I was deemed disabled and diagnosed officially with CRPS. I was told that I might not walk again. And if I couldn't get it under control soon, that I was facing an amputation from my leg. 
believe it or not, I've met quite a few people now that have this condition. Some have reversed and some are about to have the chop. So I serve as a vessel of light to bring awareness that it is in the mind. And therefore, you can mind over matter it. Now, I don't make light of this. The pain level, if we were at a scale of 100, the pain that I was experiencing was a level 5,000 all the time. Now, it's about a three, just three, all the time. The circulation that was getting cut off in my leg whenever I would drape my leg down, that's not happening anymore. The swelling is almost non-existent. The wound that would not seal up, it sealed up. How have I done it? How just three weeks ago was I told that I might not walk again? And now I'm shopping at the farmer's market, lugging around my, my groceries on my arms. Now I, I gotta admit, my foot, my leg, it's sore. It is sore for me doing this, but I have done it. It's possible. I've used a plethora of herbal assistance as well as mindfulness. I've become a life coach among all of this healing journey of the last three months. And I've been using that mindfulness from my coaching as well as modality of yoga, nature, and the herbs. So I've gotten myself out to the beach a few times, and luckily here in the PNW, we've got an abundance of seaweeds in the water. Don't even know the species, but I know seaweed is high, high in minerals. So I went to the ocean, put my foot in the water, stood there for a couple of minutes, because that's really all I could tolerate, but I grabbed a good old wad of seaweed, and I wrapped the seaweed around my foot and let it bake in the sun at the beach for about an hour. Then another day, well two days actually, I drove to a lake that is going to be high in mineral content once again. I've made sure to seek out pristine waters versus just the local lake. Um, some of these lakes here are man-made and that's not what we're after. Although a natural freshwater lake is fresh water, there's a high mineral content. In fact, one of the lakes I went to is Lake Crescent. And there is a story about the lady of the lake from so many years ago who fell in the water and about 80 years later was discovered. But her body was completely intact. It had been preserved perfectly by the high mineral content in that lake. So while at that lake, I got my, my beach chair and I actually set it in the water of the lake and held my leg out in that water for a good hour. I actually did a very little bit of swimming because it's so cold. It's just so hard to even handle the swimming aspect, but the movement, it, it was there. And then at the next lake, I also sought out a high mineral content lake named Lake Cushman. Had my foot hanging in there for quite some time. I've also been making myself walk more and intentionally ever since the accident where I forgot to take my cane, I've been now intentionally leaving it behind. I am still wrapping up my ankle every day for compression to help keep the swelling down. But right now you'll notice when I take my socks off and show you, I'm not wearing my wrap right now. So when I'll be standing, I make sure I have that ace bandage on, but elsewise, I kind of have been taking it off. 
I've been making sure to get the alphabet, the A, the B, the C, D, E, etc. for the joint movement in my ankle and that's helping immensely. I've been using a stretch band to stretch the foot back as well as flexing it forward while holding that stretch band. Weeks ago, I was at the extra, extra, extra light, just three pounds resistance. Now I am up to seven and 10 pounds. Improvement all around. What's also been very helpful for this condition has been Epsom salt soaks. If I, if I can't get to a bath because I don't have a bath in my micro studio, I'm still making sure to get a, a bin with a dead sea salt, Epsom salt, with herbs like, I've been using spearmint fresh and crushed fresh mustard seed. And when I say fresh, I mean you crush it and then immediately put it in there. Uh, it's a nice detox. I have been using a fucus laterac seaweed, fucus versicolor, I believe is its Latin name, but laterac seaweed that's high in mineral as well as the detox. And then also in the water, I've been adding in a tincture of comfrey, a tincture of black turmeric, or if you've ever seen it, it's this gorgeous earth blue. I've also been adding in occasionally some Spilanthes tincture just to make sure there's no bacteria in there. And then every time I'm adding in frankincense essential oil as well as lavender essential oil. I've even at times, occasionally, added in frankincense essential oil. Every one of those tinctures and essential oils are 100% organic. Just as the tea I drink, the vitamins that I take, and the food that I eat. Why that's important? Well, glycogen phosphate, glyphosate, which is Roundup, that's sprayed on the food and in the food, otherwise if it's not organic, is going to cause inflammation in the body. And that's the last thing that we want with CRPS. Thank goodness I have been on this organic diet already for four years, so it was no switch to me. But what has been a change is I have been detoxing, getting ready to go to Iboga. I'll talk more on this. I've been detoxing because although you, yes, could physically go to the sacred plant ceremony retreat without having detoxed first, and I'll explain the type of detox. If doing that, the plant is going to spend its energy detoxing the chemical from the body. Whereas if you take a 30 day break, from alcohol, cigarettes, which I've never used, marijuana, coffee, any pharmaceuticals. By taking that 30 day break before, you've detoxed the chemical. So now what's left to detox is the psycho-spiritual aspect. And with CRPS, it is a neurological syndrome of the mind, telling one to experience pain even though that pain isn't serving them. Now, generally, we feel pain because it is alerting the body to bring awareness, like, oh no, that bone is broken. Oh no, there's a rash there. You got a headache. Oh no, we need more oxygen, more water. But with CRPS, it is a non-functioning pain. It's the mind flooding the pain receptors saying, experience this pain, even though there's no warranted justification. It's being stuck in trauma. There's no other way for me to put it. Like it is a result of me having trapped trauma. Now, one benefit of stopping the alcohol, coffee, marijuana, those sorts of things, is with CRPS, those cause inflammation. By stopping those, 
you're reversing and stopping that inflammation. In fact, you will want to check out the anti-inflammatory diet. Another blessing as well. I've got 16 food and sensitivities and naturally I'm, I'm on that anti-inflammatory diet. All I still had was the occasional alcohol and the coffee, the coffee every day. That's been a hard one for me. But in this moment, I get to say I haven't had alcohol in over a month. I haven't had any coffee in over a month. I am three and a half weeks marijuana free. No RSO, none of that. Haven't even been consuming CBD internally. I have still been using CBD pain salve externally. Now, if you go for the CBD salve, you will need 1,500 milligrams minimum. Why I say that is marketing in America, it's so interesting. Now, a bottle of cream you would think when it states the milligrams, it's talking per dose, like how food is. When you turn to the back of the nutritional label and it will say so many grams of fat per serving. Well, with these CBD products, they're referring to how many milligrams per bottle. So you want to find the smallest little bottle that you can with 1500 milligrams and then you're actually getting a strong enough dose to feel the pain relief. I've been putting that on my foot daily. I've also been using a salve that has black turmeric, comfrey, and laukahi, the Hawaiian name for plantain. I'm growing some plantain in my micro studio garden, and I've occasionally wrapped the wound with the plantain leaf and then the ace bandage over that. My wound is now totally sealed up. I do have a bit of painful scar tissue though. It took me almost three months for it to heal up. I do feel that I will be able to soften up some of the scar tissue over time, but that is there and it's kind of locked there. But as far as these tendons go, I've got my flexibility back. The strength is still building. Sometimes I will be standing and just kind of fall sideways, especially after I've been using it a lot for the whole day. It's just weak. There's been a lot of atrophy in the calf and the Achilles tendon and peroneal, all of it, ever since not being able to use it for so long. But I can say that when I get super stressed out, I'm feeling more pain in it. So this is where the mindfulness, the life coaching, and the yoga come into play. I keep myself so occupied, so mentally busy. I'm always pushing forward, taking a class, reading a book, starting a new endeavor. So I have got to carve out some time to go to these peaceful places like the beach, the park. But typically I'll still take a book with me and I'll read. Which yes, in a sense it's turning the mind off, but we're talking full meditation needed. Meditation. Let's do it. Don't get too busy with your life that you are not prioritizing yourself, your own healing. You may prioritize your own growth, but you can. We can get by on 98% for so long. That 98% is sustainable, but eventually going to dwindle down lower and lower and lower and you cannot stay at that 98%. Get yourself to 100. 
drink your tea, smell the organic essences of essential oils, fresh flowers, fruit peels, the lemons, the oranges, the limes, mm, them terpenes and the essential oils in those peels. That's therapeutic in itself, just to breathe it in. And if you have CRPS, do not believe what you've been told. That's been my biggest lesson. It really took me the threat of almost losing a leg and me losing my job and me feeling like I have lost everything that I had loved by not being able to care for myself. It took me two days of hearing that information before I stood for the first time and drug my foot along the ground. And two days after that, so four days later, once I knew what I had, I persevered. And once I pushed through, it got better and better within days. I've also been using a very uh, strong but CRPS approved foot massager. And I've been making sure I'm getting enough sleep. I've been on medical leave for the last 12 weeks. And that's just about ending now. I had been fired, but have a new job aligned for when I return from Iboga. And I believe that I get to say goodbye to this condition. However, it can come back at any time. So be mindful. Give yourself grace. Love yourself. Self-love. Self-love is not always beautiful flowers and bubble baths. Sometimes self-love is facing your dark memories that you have trapped, that you've suppressed healing from. And I don't believe it's a coincidence that me having a life coach and me becoming a life coach as well in this timing I don't believe it to be a coincidence. I think it is truly divine alignment for me. And it may not be the thing for you. But if you are intrigued in the idea of life coaching, reach out. I'm an herbalist. I'm a life coach. I'm an insurance agent. I'm an entrepreneur. What can I say? Thank you guys for joining on this journey and it is a honor and blessing to be able to share my knowledge and experience with others and have such great response. I'm praying for everyone that has been given this condition. I'm praying for everyone that has other conditions that they still have not figured out what it is. Honestly, I'm praying for everyone. I pray for this world. If you can heal yourself, you then can heal others. There's a good bit of my time where I was just knowing I'm a healer and so drawn to help heal others. And I I wasn't healing myself. I fooled myself into thinking I was because I was at that 98%. But unless if your cup, your cup is full, then you're not able to give from an overflowing cup. And rather, you're giving wanting in return. And that's a large part of my trap trauma. I kept giving and giving and healing and helping and expecting things in return, but not getting it. So now I'm able to say that me having surgery and being deemed disabled and getting fired has actually been the catalyst to 
of the new chapter of my whole life. So let's talk iboga and then let's show you this ankle, shall we? This will be my last video before I go. In just eight days, I will be in Bend, Oregon for a sacred ceremony. It's a week long and I'm mentally ready. I've done coaching to face my inner child, as painful as it's been, and as hard as it was for me to tap into her. I've done it and I'm ready. What Iboga is doing is there is a constituent called Ibogene, Ibogene, however you want to say it, in the plant. So there are clinical trials and pharmaceuticals being created with this Ebo gene, although it's still way under the radar. Not a lot of people know about it. It is the root of this plant. It's an endangered plant, so protect it. It comes from one place only in the whole world, and that is Gabon, Africa. It is protected by the Bwiti tribe. About 15 years ago, the man who is still the leader today in Africa named Mugenda is the reason that the Western world has received it. And there was no coincidence in the timing. The world is ready for a mass healing and awakening. So if you are inclined to this medicine, reach out to me and I will connect you to the healers that I am going to see. They have been trained and certified by Mugenda of the Bwiti tribe in Gabon, Africa. And, oh man, imagine just 15 years ago, being in this world, in this situation. The opportunity wouldn't be there. So I don't take it lightly that in this exact timing of where we are in this world that I am I'm being given this opportunity. I had actually registered for this plant medicine months before I even knew I was going to have a surgery because I suspected I had trapped trauma from my lifetime. But how divine for me to have a medical diagnosis now of trapped trauma and have my surgeon approve me to go to this retreat. So I know for a fact I'm already doing so well that this can only help me further Iboga, Ibogene, is working by cutting the brain synapses for just long enough that you get a full reset. Don't worry, you're not going to lose the fun parts about you, the good, awesome parts you love, the true knowledge that you have, the truth. That remains. But all in which does not serve you, all of the stories, all of the pain loops, all of the traumatic memories, those are gone. I do believe that it is the thing that takes that last 3% of pain I'm having away. But until I do it, I can't fully report on that. But everything else that I have reported on, from the seaweed, to the Epsom salt, to the massager, to the being in nature, to the yoga, the mindfulness, the life coaching, the tea, essential oils, the tinctures, the essential oils direct on the wound, all of that I have done and vetted out and can and am speaking on my own self-knowledge here. Thank you again for being a part of this journey. It's something like only 12,000 Americans that have this. Thinking of how large of a population there is, that's not that many. 
So again, I don't find it a coincidence that I keep connecting with others that have this condition. There's a reason that I got it. And I'm seeing